hey guys so today before starting our lecture i want to tell you if you have any doubt please comment below and like and share my video and subscribe my channel okay so we are gonna study about the second most important question in our microbiology nursing syllabus which is importance of microbiology in nursing and scope of microbiology in nursing okay so if this question asks then you will write the answer in this pattern okay so at first you have to write the definition of microbiology in first point you write the definition of microbiology at least add one point of microbiology okay and one definition of microbiology then start writing this answer in this pattern so let's start so nurses manage all patients health right so nurse manage nurse do what manage all patients health and control infection and she what does she control infection in hospital okay and by maintaining the infection control she can manage all the patient's health right so knowledge of microbiology okay so how a patient will control infection if she has a good knowledge a depth knowledge in microbiology then it will help a nurse to control the infection in any hospital or any medical sector so knowledge of microbiology helps a nurse in many sector like the first one is prevent infection it will help a nurse to prevent infection second one to maintain sterile field okay so what is sterile field sterile sterilization is a process of killing deactivating and destroying all forms of life okay all forms of life microorganism bacteria virus anything to collect sample for laboratory test to proper collection of laboratory test like a uh, sample like uh, blood sample urine sample okay to give vaccine and immunization to dispose of biomedical waste what is biomedical waste any waste which is generated in the hospital sector any waste which can cause infection to other people is called biomedical waste so disposal of biomedical waste and maintain different departments maintain what different departments like operation theaters by maintaining sterilization process in different department by maintaining um, control infection control in different departments will help a nurse okay to maintain uh, to maintain different departments and control the infection and the patient's health okay so uh, to give health education last one is to give health education to spread awareness okay so any of you if no any extra point then then please comment below so let's describe one by one so the first one is to prevent infection the first point is to prevent infection how a nurse will prevent infection okay so nurse need to know no, not nurse need knowledge about the root of spread of infection okay a nurse need knowledge about the spread of infection okay so nurse obviously need to know the root okay how a organism microorganism is entering in our body she must know that as example some infection spread by contact right right now covid 19 can be spread by shaking hands with people right so our health organization is telling us you know directing us that do not shake hands with people do hand washing at least two or three times in a day right so uh, air by air also many viruses many bacteria can be spread contaminated food example diarrhea diarrhea can be spread via contaminated food by consuming contaminated food contaminated blood transfusion okay so give me a example of of a disease which is which can be spread via contaminated blood comment below okay i will give you one example which is hiv aids hiv aids is very common disease which everyone know almost that by via contaminated blood this can be spread so knowledge about this will help a nurse to control infection and save patients okay so first point is clear right now the second to maintain sterile field nurse must know how to maintain sterile field in hospital i have already told you what is sterilization i will take a separate class on sterilization okay it is a one of the most very important topic in microbiology syllabus so sterilization means killing removing deactivating all forms of life so in operation theater sterile field and equipment is very important to avoid any kind of infection to avoid any kind of infection during surgery right 
we have to maintain sterilization process and we have to um, sterilize our equipment also okay so second point is clear third point to collect sample for laboratory test nurse must know the proper site and collection of sample of for laboratory test example she must know the different disease and route of infection to collect sample from different site okay i will give you an example if a patient is having hiv aids and we are taking sample from from um, from any uh, uh, you know from we are taking stool sample then it will be very uh, it will take a very long time to uh, diagnose that the patient is having hiv aids right so we have so what is the um, most appropriate uh, laboratory diagnosis for hiv aids it is blood sample right so a nurse must know that how hiv infection is spread we all know that we are contaminated blood and sexual transfusions HIV AIDS can be spread so a nurse need to know the disease and the route of infection okay to collect the sample from proper site like blood stool and urine okay so I will upload at the next part I will explain the rest of the topic in the next part okay thank you